Hi, my loves. How are you? Hope everything is good with you guys. Today is a gorgeous day. The sun is shining. It's windy outside. It's a little on the monkey side, but not too bad. Um, but today, um, I want to show you guys some of my hauls. Some of the things that I have found um, at different places um, within the last month. So I want to start with the dollar store. Okay, so I found these little bottles and they come in um, like eight in a pack. And I think that it would be great for like little um, spell jars or um, to put your oils in, um, maybe even wish jars. Um, the cork, that comes with a little cork. The corks don't stay in there too well. So what I would suggest if you get these um, to do some candle wax on the outside of it to, you know, to stop your stopper. But these are the cutest little things. They also have bigger ones too at the dollar store. So there's one thing. And I found these cute little cubes. And I figured you could do dice on them. You know, um, you could do dice, you could do runes. Um, you can make your own little things out of these. So I picked up three packs of these because um, I want to do some runes. Um, I want to do the witches runes. Um, I do have runes of my own, but I found those and I thought they were adorable. So that's what I found at the dollar store um, that I haven't gotten. Then I have ordered some stuff um, through wish.com. So here's a couple things that I ordered through wish. I still have some stuff coming. I've been waiting um, because I wanted to show it all together, but they are taking, it's been like three months and I still haven't gotten some stuff. But this little charm, and I won't order from there again, but here's one of the little charms that I got. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's the little Sagittarius. So it's my birthstone. And they have them in all the different birthstones. And I, these were over $5. Can you see? It's adorable and I just love it. And then I got this from the dollar store or from the Wish. And it's the pentagram and it's a leather bracelet type thing. And like I said, none of this stuff was over $5. So those, that's that. And then I went to, um, we have a place that has like a flea market type thing. And I went and I got these and they were a dollar piece and I figured they would be great offering dishes for my altar. And I love this color blue. So I thought they were adorable. So I got those. Here's another thing that I got from Wish. Let me undo it here. It's just a little uh, notebook. And I like it because it wraps up. It has the leather bound things here. It has the little um, anchor. You guys can see the little anchor. And then it has the, uh, the captain's wheel. And then you open it up and it has the uh, north, south, east, and west on the cover and I like this because the pages you can take out. So it's bound here so you can put pages in, back into it. And it's just a little notebook and I really like it. It's all leather and it's adorable. So that's the thing I got on Wish. All this stuff was less than five. So let me just put that back together. And then I went to um, Michael's and they had a sale on their jewelry and everything was like two, two ninety seven, and these are genuine stones. So I got the turquoise ring. I think, I don't know if you guys have seen me wearing it, but I, I love this. I got the turquoise necklace. And it has the little gemstones on it. I got the amber. I 
I got the beautiful Howlite. And then I got an Onyx. And like I said, all these were, these were around $3. But look at the back of that. It's very heavy. And I wear a lot of black, so I absolutely love that. Then I went to Barnes & Noble. And I found these little journals at Barnes & Noble. The Astrological. It's got the sun and the moon. And these were $7 on sale. And it's all, I got this one and I also got this one. And it has all the different stars and stuff on it. So I thought these were really, really cute for something to, you know, to, because I love to write down stuff. So I think that was really cool. Um, so that's the stuff that I got on the haul. Now I did, um, I have done an unboxing of uh, Smoke and Roses, a steampunk language to flowers. And I never ordered the one with the book. And I don't know why. Because I absolutely love flowers. So I ordered the other set um, that came with the book. It was like $10 more. And I got the book. So, and then I gifted my um, other deck to my daughter. So, and, it, and it's really great. It says, scandal is growing in your own backyard. In your hands, you hold the language of flowers. I'm getting stuck on my necklaces here. Rosemary for remembrance, a white carnation in your buttonhole for luck, and perhaps a rose for someone else. But which color will you choose? Turn these pages and discover the history of the code used by darling ladies and gents of the Victorian era to express their sentiments and discretion. You really can say it with flowers. This book is gorgeous. Um, it has all the different flowers in here. This was copyrighted in 2018 by Olivia Wiley. Um, and it's leafing out books. But here is... Um, some of the pages in the books. Isn't that gorgeous? That's an amaryllis. Then we have apple. But I love um, meanings of flowers and stuff. So let's. But here's foxglove. And the cards look just like this. The cards are gorgeous. So if you want a flower book, and it goes in and it tells you like the different roses, <clears throat> it tells you what each um, rose color represents. Like the orange is for fascination. The peach is for modesty, gratitude, appreciation, admiration, and sympathy. So it goes in and tells you that. It also, for the iris, it goes in and tells you um, the different colors for the iris. And then it goes in, it has other floral connotations worth meaning. It has your flowers for the birthstones, uh, wedding anniversaries by year, the flowers that you have for that. Um, so it's really a really nice, um, well done book. So again, this is the uh, Smoke and Roses, a steampunk language of flowers. And it came in a beautiful box. Um, it came all wrapped in a beautiful box. So look for that um, in my playlist. Look for that walkthrough if you guys want to see those cards. So that's all in my haul, guys. Oh, and I got a couple of these. Um, I use these. Or my grids, I use these for crystal grids and I have quite a few of them. So I did get those. And then I got some chakra stones. Um, I got 
some of the different chakra stones. Turquoise. Whoops. I can get them out of here. I got them in with some other stuff, so. But these are all, you can use these um, to put on your chakras for healing. Oops. And then I got the pink quartz, the rose quartz, to all go with that. So, and I have that on my little Buddha statue with my uh, pink salt crystal. So, that's where I keep those. So, that's that. So, that's just a little haul that I did. Um, I didn't. Like I said, I was waiting for that other stuff to come from Wish, and it, it, it's, it's been three months, and um, I'm about ready to call them and just tell them to forget the rest of the order um, because it's taking forever. So, but anyway, guys, I hope you like this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Remember, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays is tarot study. We only have two more weeks, guys, of tarot study, and it is done. Um, we're all done with the tarot study, so I got to think of some new things to... Um, do so if there's anything that you guys want to see or anything um, put down in the comments so that I know what you guys want to see um, Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays I do walkthroughs or some other videos like this one um, and Sundays I do my uh, weekly oracle poll so look for those if you haven't seen um, the tarot study or you want to see any walkthroughs they are all in the playlist so you can go in and click on the playlist and you can go in and watch those. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day. Bye guys. Till next time.